Good afternoon, I've just departed Kew Garden Station. It was just there a couple of weeks ago, but today I'm back, back out on the tube, this time heading for the depths of Zone 4, South West London. It's time to do the penultimate, I know, it's so sad, it's almost over, uh, episode of End of the Line as we head and tick off Richmond. The next station is Richmond, where this train terminates. Welcome to Richmond Station, End of the Line. I'm right by the end of the platforms here for the district line. Uh, you may have heard on the audio announcement, it is a national rail station. In Tube Challenge days, there was a weird thing where we get off the Tube train here, run over to the national rail platforms, pick up a southwest train to Feltham, and then get a bus to Heathrow. But we do need to focus more on that because it is, yes, a Tube station and an overground station and a national rail southwestern railway station. And there are loads of platforms here like this. Richmond has seven platforms, numbers one and two for South Western Railway services. Platforms three and four are usually used for London Overground services, and five, six, and seven are for the Tube. But a delightfully nerdy fact is that whereas the Overground trains can, and sometimes do, use the Tube platforms of five, six, and seven, the Tube trains can only use platform four that the Overground usually uses, and not platform three, as platform three does not have a fourth rail which Tube trains require. If that's too nerdy for you, then let me give you historic instead. Come over to the National Rail platforms by this staircase. And they've been there many years and I always love to stop and take a look at them. There's uh, some replica old style posters, including my favorite one advertising intercity sleepers, old British Rail, National Rail, British Rail signage on this staircase. Stop and take a look, because they're wonderful. On the overground platforms, by the way, I'm loving the ornate canopies. Check them out, they're just beautiful. If you walk along here to get your overground train, look up, check out the canopies above your head. Also, I just played back on my own phone the episode of End of the Line Epping, where I talk about uh, two other stations in Australia that are called Epping. Did you know this isn't the only Epping station in the world? If you type Epping station into Google, it threw up the two that are in Australia. There's one in Melbourne and there's one in Sydney on the metro there as well. So, uh... And weirdly, the same is true, exactly the same, uh, at Richmond. There is one in Melbourne and there is one in Sydney. And thanks Wikipedia, I believe there's also a Richmond station uh, in California on the San Francisco BART and also there's one in Quebec, Canada as well. Uh, and then I think there's an old abandoned Richmond station up in North Yorkshire as well. If there are any other Richmond stations around the world, I'm sure you're letting me know in the comments right now. Out next to the toilets you'll find the labyrinth, quite a high number here, number 257 here at Richmond. And that is by a side entrance. Oh, where well, look, there's a sign to a car park. Do you have your bingo sheets at the ready? Did somebody say car park? You're playing along with the bingo sheet, aren't you? Which you can still download in the description. And if you've still not ticked off all the words yet, I have this very strong suspicion, as in I think it's going to happen, that in the final and next episode of End of the Line, which is at Wimbledon, we might just tick all of them off. And on the rear side of my bingo sheet, as I'm sure is yours, uh, is my own Richmond Roundel. Uh, because another nerdy fact is because this is a national rail station, not actually operated or run uh, by TfL and the London Underground, it doesn't have any traditional red and blue roundels. So I just felt like printing my own one out just because I could. Oh, and the reason why I've walked down this side passage and up these steps is to come out onto here which is Church Road, because just like Uxbridge, because Richmond is like many other end of the line stations, uh, has a bridge with an excellent view down onto the station, which is what I've come for. But before we get to that, we'll just quickly hear from today's sponsor. So Surfshark VPN is an app and browser extension that encrypts your internet data and lets you safely browse the web using over 3,000 servers in over 95 countries around the world. And you can browse the internet as if you are using it in another country in another part of the world. This means you can use streaming services, use discounts, and go online shopping in places that might not normally be available in your country. For example, Surfshark lets people in the UK watch American Netflix and vice versa. And it's got the bonus of keeping your IP address hidden, which means it keeps your data safe and private, so you can switch it on when you don't want to be tracked by advertisers or trackers. And you can subscribe with just one account, and with that, you can use Surfshark on all your devices, computers, phones, and tablets. Which is why you should click on the link in the description below and use the code Jeff, G-E-O-F-F, -F, to get a whopping 83% discount off Surfshark, which includes an extra three months for free. So transport yourself around the world, far beyond even Zone 9, by using Surfshark VPN.
Yeah, follow the link in the description below for all the surf shark details and you're helping out me and the channel. Uh, on this side, you've got a great view of the station. Go to the other side of the road, cross carefully if you want a view of the trains approaching or actually leaving because the bridge actually intersects the station by going right over there. Well, almost sort of at the end slash back of the trains, depending on which way you look at it. But from here, great view of the whole of Richmond Station. Oh, by the way, the side passageway to get up to Church Street and the bridge, you have to come at this side entrance here, complete with sign. I'm willing to bet at least one of you who is a regular daily commuter to and from Richmond Station never knew this side entrance was here and you never used it. If that's you, leave a comment in the comments and then come and use the side entrance just to say that you've done it. Time to go for a wander then. And when you do, take a moment to admire the front of Richmond Station and this fabulous clock as well. And then it was time for me to go and do my thing in Richmond. Into Richmond High Street, and it does of course have a railway pub, that's the railway tavern there. The railway came to Richmond in 1846, and that pub, known as the Locomotive, first opened up in 1849. There's lots of black and white photos inside of, you know, and maps of how Richmond and the railway used to look. Uh, but I'm heading for something else, the river and the museum, and as we get there, there's a third super nerdy thing that I just want to briefly mention, which is brilliant, about Richmond and this branch. And that's because the section of the track up to Gunnersbury is under network rail control, and you can use online websites such as Open Train Times and Real Time Trains to track district line tube trains, see what time they're departing and whereabouts on the line they are. I don't think there's anywhere else on the underground network where you can do this turn off the high street, you can't be at a cobblestone street either, and I'm at the place I've come to visit. Hang on, small problem. I came here on a tip off from a friend that went, you must visit the museum because it's rather splendid. Just looking at the staircase, you can see that, but um, there's a sign there on the board outside. Um, I've come on a Monday, which I think is what I did at Ealing Broadway end of the line. I went to the gallery there, closed on a Monday. Our old museums just closed on Mondays. Don't come on a Monday. I have to come back tomorrow. That's okay though, I just hung out by the river instead for a while. Richmond is of course a pond Thames and is just lovely. Probably lovelier though on a bright sunny day, which it wasn't on the day that I visited. So thanks to Surfshark for being the sponsor of today's video. That was Richmond, that's Richmond with your roundel. Uh, bingo sheet still on the other side. Have those ready for next time. When we go to Wimbledon, that will be episode 20, the very last episode in this series as we finish up uh, the end of the line out there on the Justin line as well. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Press subscribe. Bye.